We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall never surrender. On May 8th in 1945, the Allies of the World War II accepted an unconditional surrender of the Nazi armed forces. And while those Europeans east of Berlin could not fully celebrate this great and victorious day, for only one of the great darknesses of that time has been overthrown, this day will forever be remembered as the day of unity and peace, at least in Europe. So here is a very short list of essential songs absolutely every rocker and metal had has to know about World War II, in my personal opinion. And so while you're watching it, please make sure you think of your personal favorite songs about World War II and submit them in the comments. Here you go. The song Never Again is about the last generation of the Holocaust survivors. Disturbed's frontman David Draymon comes from an Orthodox Jewish family with many relatives affected by the war. This song is a cry that we should never let such events happen again. Sabaton's 40 to 1 tells of the Battle of Wisna in 1939 when the Nazi Wehrmacht rolled into Poland. 720 Polish soldiers positioned near the town of Wisna held a Nazi force of 40,000 soldiers at a stalemate for three days. The band wanted to release a special version of 40 to 1 in Polish, yet the lyrics were too difficult for the band's frontman to sing. Iron Maiden's Aces High tells the tale of the Battle of Britain in 1940. Its lyrics are written from the viewpoint of a British Royal Air Force pilot. Battle of Britain was the first military battle fought solely with aircraft. Motorhead's Bomber is based on Land Dayton's book of the same name. The lyrics are about a British bombing raid during the war at which the forces hit the wrong town. The song describes the horrors people on the ground experience when they hear the sirens and the routine of the fighter's attack from both sides. Druk's instrumental Ukrainian insurgent army honors those who fought the guerrilla war against the Nazis. Later, the UIA engaged in the military action against the Soviet Union, which lasted until the 1960s. Both Soviets and the Nazis saw the UIA as enemies and did everything to discredit them, spreading information about its collaboration with each other's enemy. In When the Tigers Broke Free, Roger Glover describes the death of his father Eric Fletcher Waters. He died during the Italian campaign in the Battle of Anzio. In 2014, Roger Waters unveiled a memorial to the 8th Battalion near the site of the battle exactly 70 years after his father's death. That was the last 
in the ground when the tigers 